right, we are at Tupelo Con. We are right in front of the TARDIS with the socially awkward Time Lords. So you are the president, am I correct? Yes, sir. So can I call you Lord President of the Time Lords? If you want to, yeah, sure. <laughs> Good deal. So tell us about the club and where it got its names from. Ah, well, she can tell you all about the name. Okay. But I, well, I can tell, tell them about you the club and then we'll go about the name. Uh, we're a special project of the Create Foundation, which is we are geared towards helping young cosplayers grow and learn and do community service projects in, around our area. Right. And about the name, the Socially Awkward Time Lords, which I absolutely love. So tell me about the name. Um, when we were picking the name, I realized that a lot of our club members were kind of young and shy about cosplay, so socially awkward. And I just really love Doctor Who. And I thought, you know, people want to be a Time Lord. That sounds awesome. So socially awkward Time Lords. So when you're thinking about doing cosplay, and I'm going to ask this question to you, when you think about doing cosplay, what costumes come to mind and what is interesting about cosplay to you? Uh, the fact that you get to dress up as your favorite characters and you doesn't really... So, and which is basically what people do. They do dress up they, and you get to put on another persona and you get to kind of step outside yourself. So in that being said, stepping outside, you have something that people can actually step into, which is the TARDIS. That was a nice transition. Thank you very much. <laughs> so in the idea of the TARDIS, I've heard through the grapevine that it has a specific, this version of the TARDIS has a very specific purpose. What would this purpose be? It is a changing station. I actually have my next costume in there right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you basically are taking the TARDIS to, um, you know, a con, setting it up, having someone out there that is kind of policing, making sure people just don't go bombarding into the TARDIS. But you've got a changing place for someone to actually change. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried to like change costumes in a bathroom at a convention before, but it is not fun. And so we thought this would be a good place to have that, you know, it's it's kind of safe, but you don't have to risk getting very dangerous diseases from putting your costume on the floor. Good point. So what has cosplay, and I'm going to ask all three of this you this question, what has cosplay taught you or opened up a new experience for you that you didn't have before doing the cosplay? I think cosplay has kind of taught me how to love. I know that sounds a little weird, but I've met so many friends and I even have like a little convention family now that even when we're not at conventions, they'll still talk to me and check up on me and make sure I'm doing okay. And it's just such a loving bond that we all have. And so I think cosplay has just taught me how to love. Good answer. What about you? Um, doing something different maybe have you learned anything no <laughs> you know what you've learned to get out and expose yourself to getting up and doing something different so that that right there is something what about you um i've definitely i've definitely learned how to be more creative like this is a yarn wig i never would have thought about making a wig out of tiny strands of yarn and it's a lot easier to style i've learned how to sew, how to make props. I've learned a lot. So I'm going to put you on the spot. What has, sure. what has doing this group and being a part of this group, what has it done for you both, you know, and personally, professionally, what has it opened up for you? Um, I have always loved to make things and um, I taught myself to sew and I am able to share what I know with these kids and they are all growing through the years. We've been doing this four years now and I have seen them grow up and become much more um, skilled. Um, I have been able to spend quality time with my child that has blossomed it, through this experience. Um, I, love, I love running this club. Cool. Yeah. So my final question, if anyone wanted to find out more about this club, where would they go? Um, probably our Facebook page is the best place to go. 
Um, so, uh, socially awkward time lords cosplay is what you would be looking for. Right, good deal. And we will put in the show notes uh, how to reach and get in touch with you guys. Mm-hmm. But, but on behalf of Clarence and I, thank every one of you and yourself included for talking to us. What you guys, guys are doing is great. We applaud you and we applaud you for getting out, taking that step, getting in front of YouTube. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Awesome. You're welcome. Thank you.